Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to get in contact with me to discuss your business, then there's a number of ways you can do that. Visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me if you want more business help with your football coaching business. Now, today, what I want to do is I want to share with you three reasons why the block booking system doesn't work for football coaches anymore. Now, I speak to coaches every single day in our industry. Some coaches are starting their business. Other coaches are looking to grow. And something that I see that is very common is 99% of all coaches that I speak to, uh, not only just here in the UK, but in the US, in Canada, in Australia, the way they're running their, their business is through block bookings. So if you're a one-to-one -one -one trainer and you're running one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching service, if you're running a one-on-one -on -one coaching service, then what I want you to do is I want you to take notes of what I'm about to share with you today because I know it will hit home, but also it will make you realize that I need to make changes, okay? As a business owner, we are constantly looking to learn. We are constantly looking to grow. And if you feel that there's a system such as this block booking system that isn't working anymore, then it's a good time now to then change it and implement a system or a business model that will work, right? And I can help you with this. I've been helping coaches for a very long time with this. So get in contact with me, description below, number of ways you can reach out. So the first one is the problem with block, book, uh, block booking system is you have attendance inconsistency. Now, what coaches who run a block booking system think is that their customers or their clients are going to consistently show up every time per week, right? Once a week, they're going to be there. They'll do the, they'll do the training session and they'll complete that training session for that week. But what a lot of coaches come across is that there might be weeks where things happen, parents can't make it to the session, uh, players get injured. And what tends to happen is those block bookings that were five sessions then end up dragging because of rescheduling. Now, if your clients fail to attend the block booking, then your sessions could go on for two months, three months until those five sessions are complete. Right, so if you're selling a block of five sessions, that ultimately means that your, your players are going to be training with you for five weeks if your players attend every single training session. Now, say they come to the first two, and then for whatever reason, they don't attend the next two, three weeks because of, you know, it could be a personal matter, it could be an injury, it could be an illness, it could be anything then your sessions have now, and now that block booking, instead of it being a five-week block booking, now it's going to turn into a longer block booking, right? And the reason why this is going to have an impact on you is because that's going to prevent you working with other customers in the following month, or you're going to be fully booked working with players that are already on those old block bookings okay so if you want to make sure get in contact with me there's a number of ways i can help you to transition from this so you avoid the this problem right the second one is you're continuously insert selling your services right so if you offer a block of five to ten sessions then when those sessions run out you're then having to sell yourself again to that parent and that is something that a lot of coaches don't like doing. Coaches don't like selling themselves to parents because they're 
they don't see it as part of the coaching. But if you're running a business, then you have to learn how to market, promote and sell. So there's a number of ways you can do this where you're not having to sell yourself continuously. But if you're running block bookings, then what happens is at the end of that five sessions, then you're going to have to call up Mrs. Jones or text Mrs. Jones and try to sell her on another five or 10 week block booking, right? We want to see if we can transition away from that and implement a, a newer type of system where we're not continuously selling ourselves every five to 10 weeks, right? Now, the third problem with a block booking system is lack of commitment, right? At the moment, 99% of all football trainers, football coaches who are running coaching businesses, they the norm is to offer block bookings, right? Now, that is a model where I feel is quite old, right? It's, 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 it's very old, it's very out of fashion. And also, it's a model that doesn't allow commitments to be created, right? If you speak to the most successful trainers in our industry, then you, they will tell you that the, the most important part of their business is client retention, right? So holding on to clients for long. Now, a block booking of five sessions, 10 sessions, ultimately means, and what parents mentally picture in their head is that, right, after those five to 10 sessions, I'm then free to go and look for another trainer. Now, yes, whatever model you implement into your business, your parents, your clients are going to have that freedom to go and look for someone else. But how about implementing a system where you're getting your customers to commit for longer, right? Because ultimately what you're then telling the, the, the client or the parent is that if you want to get good results with our training, with our coaching, then you have to be committed for longer, right? We aren't going to get results in five, 10 weeks. The process requires longer. So if they're, if they're willing to commit for longer, means that they're a good customer and also they're invested in what you're doing, which ultimately means that in the long term, they will become a good client and hopefully they'll refer other like-minded uh, parents into your business right so i feel and this is just a personal opinion is that the the five to ten sessions block bookings is something that uh, for for parents they treat it more as a taster session right because really and truly you can't i don't believe you can transform a footballer in that short period of time okay and ultimately that's the industry we're in we're in a results-based industry we've got to get results with the players that we're working with so if you want to get better results if you want to get more committed customers clients in your business you have to find ways to get them to stay with you for longer and not just five to ten weeks okay so again if you need any help with this reach out to me this is pretty much what I do every single day. Uh, speak with coaches, connect with coaches, um, working with coaches. So reach out to me. There's a number of ways I can help you to create a more sustainable uh, system within your business. Right. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all our latest content.